Every country has its own mythology and folklore, each telling of strange monstrous creatures. There are so many monsters. Cyclops, Ogres, the Kraken, your mother, your sister, Wendigo. Too many to list in one video alone. So I decided to start a new video series, each installment focusing on a different kind of monster. I'm calling it Monster Guide because I'm a creative genius. In this first video, we look at one of the most enduring legendary beasts of all. A beast that makes Frankenstein's monster seem like a choir boy. The Golem. To understand the golem, you must first know something about Kabbalah. Kabbalah, a school of Jewish mysticism long associated with ancient legend. Said to trace its origin to the dawn of humanity, no one knows where it truly came from. Kabbalistic scholars would study all kinds of mystery, like the origin of evil, the possibility of reincarnation, and even magic. Eventually, study of it spread outside of Judaism, contributing to the rise of occultism and secret societies. It was even said that studying certain aspects of Kabbalah could drive a person insane, as is the power of its divine knowledge. Why am I telling you this? Because according to legend, it was mastery of Kabbalah that enabled a rabbi to create golem. Forged from clay or sometimes mud, a golem is a monstrous creature possessing great strength. Though somewhat human-like in appearance, they have no free will, instead serving the men who create them. They could be a force for good or evil, a helpful companion or a destructive beast. The most famous golem legend comes from 16th century Prague. It was a time of fierce persecution for Jews living in the city. Rumour had spread of them kidnapping children for ritualistic human sacrifice. Fearing the safety of their children, local Christians reacted with anger. Many Jews were driven out of the city, many were murdered on the streets. And so to protect his community, the chief rabbi of Prague took drastic action. With two other rabbi, he took clay and shaped it into the likeness of a giant man. With a strange ritualistic chant, they encircle the clay man for hours, chanting the whole time. Slowly the clay man became animated, rising into the air and glowing brightly. On opening his eyes, his creators stopped chanting. Their ritual was complete. It was eight foot tall, with blood red eyes and no mouth. They called him Yosef, because that's a pretty good name for a big guy made of clay. At night they sent him out to guard the Jewish quarter, returning to them before sunrise, so by day they could keep him locked away. For years it served as a guardian of Prague's Jews, but as time went on it grew more difficult to command. The golem perceived threats that were not there, killing any gentile it came across. And so, on realising his creation had become an evil monster, the rabbi deactivated his golem, never to be revived. According to some versions of the legend, the golem has survived into the modern world, hidden away inside a Prague synagogue. If that's true, I'm surprised it didn't reawaken during the 1940s. I mean, if there was ever a time for a golem, that was it. Golems are lazy. Big clay, no mouth having freaks. This is just one of many legends of the golem, but almost all of them follow the same theme. Learned men create a monster, who initially served them before breaking free and causing havoc. Some consider the golem to be a metaphor deeply embedded within our unconscious mind, warning that technology will one day destroy us. Some see the stories as evidence of historical man creating robots, yet to most who believe in the golem, it is just as described, an enormous beast made of clay. Some legends tell of Golem falling in love, and not being able to understand such an emotion, reacting with violence. But perhaps the darkest legend is that of a lonely couple, who created a Golem to serve as their child. Desperate for a child of their own, they approached a rabbi one cold day, who agreed to create a son for them. Weeks later he returned, and presented them with a child-sized Golem. In truth, they were disheartened by its monstrous appearance, but given the effort put into its creation, had no choice but accept. For a time, all was well. As expected, the golem was perfectly obedient, but a golem is not a child. 
Within months, it began to grow at an alarming rate, soon outgrowing both parents. With its new size came unrivaled strength. One day, they sent the golem out to gather wood, giving it an axe and directing it towards a great forest. By nightfall, it had still not returned, so the next day they went out looking for it. On finding the golem, they realised it had nearly cut down the entire forest, and this was just one of its misdeeds. Hoping its creator could put things right, they returned to the local synagogue, but the rabbi wasn't there. No one in town knew what had happened to him, as if he'd simply disappeared. Whatever the explanation, they were stuck with their now adult-sized golem. But still it was growing, and still it did little more than destroy. Tools, buildings, livestock, anything the beast encountered would usually be torn apart. It could only go on for so long. Eventually, they decided to put an end to their weird golem kid. Early one morning, the father buried an axe into the golem's head, but as literally anyone could have predicted, it did little damage. By the time the local community had pieced this together, he and his wife lay dead, and the golem was nowhere to be found.